Get two free workouts by clicking the link in the top right hand corner of this video and jumpstart your workout regimen today. What's up guys, Coach Will from Pro Training Basketball and today I'm going to give you the top five mid post moves that I used in my game to help you dominate the mid post. Before we get into the moves, I want to mention that these moves will only be as effective as you are skilled. So if you want to take your skills to the next level, especially in the post, you can check out our nine week workout program, Perfect Your Post Play, that focuses on the low, mid, and high post so that you can become an elite post player. The first move is the face up shot. And this move is the most important because it forces the defender to come out and guard you. And if you can make this shot, it'll set up other moves. As a mid post player, you need to create space to operate. And the best way to do this is to have a respectable shot. And the face up shot is a move that taps into that skill set. For any mid post move, you will need to have good position and step to your pass. And after you catch the ball, there are two ways to shoot it the reverse pivot or face up option, or the forward pivot option. I'm going to teach you the face up option because it allows you to see the floor and take space as you pivot. You should catch the ball on a jump stop. And then you want to drop your non-pivot foot towards the basket. Ready should use your left foot as your pivot foot and drop their right foot towards the basket. And lefties will do the opposite. Once you are on balance, preferably with your feet shoulder width apart, you will rise up and shoot the ball. Sometimes it helps to throw in a jab to create some space by keeping your defender on edge. Make sure to practice this move on the other side of the court as well so you are ready for any situation. For more details on the face up shot, click on the image now. The second move is the face up rip. And once that defender comes out and guards you, you now have a move to get by him and score at the rim. Now that you have a move forcing a defender to guard you outside of 10 feet, you need to be able to get by the defender and get to the rim. And the face up rip is almost as important as the face up shot if you want to be a good mid post player. The move starts like any other mid post move, you gotta get position. You're going to step to the pass and then face up. From here is where you assess the defense. If they're up close on you, you want to rip right by them and get to the rim. Make sure to keep your pivot foot down as you let go of the ball to dribble. Sometimes it works well to throw in a jab also and go in the opposite direction. Either way, you need to be able to go both directions to keep the defender honest. Then once you get to the rim, you can use the jump hook or you might want to just get to the rim and finish on the other side. For more details on the face up rip, click on the image now. The third move is a face up rip spin. This builds off the face up rip, but if the defender cuts you off, you now have a counter to still score. Sometimes when you drive to the basket, you won't be able to get straight to the rim, especially when you have a good defender on you. And that is why you need the rip spin as a counter. Just like every move, you're gonna get position, step to the pass, and then face up. And from here, you should assess the defense. If they're up close on you, you want to use the rip to get by them. Again, make sure to keep your pivot foot down as you begin to dribble. Sometimes it'll work well to throw a jab in there and go in the opposite direction. This time, when the defender cuts you off, or if the defender cuts you off, you will plant your inside foot and spin in the opposite direction. Make sure to establish your new pivot foot before you pick up your dribble and make sure to keep the ball high on the spin to keep it away from the guards. Continue to finish the pivot, and now you should be in good position to finish with a jump hook or maybe the up and under. In worst case, you can pass the ball back out to one of your teammates. It is important to note that this move can be done going baseline and middle, but it requires you to have the court awareness to be aware of help side and possible double teams. For more on the rip spin, click on the image now. The fourth move is the sky hook, which is very similar to the face up rip, but gives you a little different finish so you can finish around and over taller defenders. The sky hook is another move you can use when you get by your defender. This move starts off just like the first three. You're going to get position, step to the pass, and then face up. While you're facing the basket, you assess the defense. And remember, if they're playing off of you, you need to be able to make that face up shot. Just like the face up rip, however, the defense is going to be playing close to you so you should try and rip by them and make sure to dribble before picking up your pivot foot. This time, you will keep going with the same footwork as the layup. 
you will jump off your inside foot and shoot with the opposite hand, just like a layup. This move is effective to help you rise up and release the ball higher and quicker than the jump hook, making it harder for the defender to contest your shot. This move is also easier to do going middle because there's more space, but it can be done going baseline, you just have to practice your touch and body control a little bit more. For more on the sky hook, click on the image now. The fifth and final move is a step back shot, and this forces the defender to be honest while you drive to the basket, which will set up all your other moves to be more effective. The final move is a step back shot. This move is nice to have because you need a move that is not always going to the rim when you dribble the basketball, keeping your defender on their heels. This move starts off like every other move. You get your position, step to the pass, and then face up. From here, you will want to attack in either direction, but I'm going to show with me jabbing and going middle. You'll need to make sure that you put the ball down before you pivot so you do not travel, and this time, you will not go all the way to the rim. You will anticipate the defender continuing middle while you push off your inside foot, going backwards, landing on two feet and on balance. Hopefully you created enough space and you'll rise up and shoot your shot. I suggest slowing this down and getting the footwork right before using this in a game. For more on the mid post step back, click on the image now. Alright guys, those are my 5 favorite mid post moves that will help you dominate the mid post. Now remember that these moves are only as effective as you are skilled, so check out Perfect Your Post Play which will help you develop these skills to become an elite post player. Now make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos, and if you haven't already, check out our top five low post moves, which will help you dominate the low post too. Peace.